can't flush this baby at all. Oh, with that, but even there was like sprinkles in there. Dang, <laughs> dude. Like, you know what? The knock was still there. Like, hey, what are you doing there? I'm like, dude, I'm taking a big dump, man. <laughs> but you know, like, I was sweating. I was sweating. So finally, like, after like, six flushes, right, everything was clean. I didn't have to go pee anymore. I rinsed off, like, I rinsed off the top of the thing, put it back, and I opened the door and goes, the guy's like, oh man, you sweated hard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't care, man. I, I did the big spin of on thumb. Yeah. Well, why, why me? Why did I have to get stuck with a spin of on thumb? Why me? I, you know, sometimes as Christians, and everyone here, I sometimes, we all go thinking that life is great. That life, is, if you're a Christian, everything's going to go well. And everything's going to be cool. But a lot of ways, what happened to me in the synagogue, though, is what we're Christians are all about. Because I think, I really believe that as Christians, God calls us to clean up the mess of the world. That even though we didn't cause the mess, or maybe we did, that it is our job as followers of Christ clean up the mess of this world. So think about that. I think that's something that's important. So I want us to open up our Bibles. To 1 Corinthians chapter 3, chapter 3 verse 16 through 17. Who's going to read it? I want someone to read it today. You speak English? 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 Come on, somebody. I got, you can read the Bible right here. Oh, oh, First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. Where's the girl that didn't speak English yesterday? Gina Pat! Gina Pat! Stand up! Don't speak English? Don't you try it. Page 3, verse 16. Please? Please? Come on, somebody stand up! Stand up! First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 through 17. Stand up. Huh? Stand up. No, no, no. Stand up. Turn around, turn around. Speak up, speak. Listen to the voice of God. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is sacred and you are that temple. Okay, remember that verse. This is in our this is in our speed on the verse. Do not do you not know that you are God's temple? You, 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 me, me. And that God's spirit dwells in you. Think about that. You are God's temple, and God dwells in you. Think about that. Anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. So if you are God's temple and God dwells in you, you are holy. Can you, can you understand that? That you, every one of you here is a holy person who believes in Christ. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but think about it. We don't always think of holiness, but I want you to think of, start thinking about you yourselves being holy. That you are God's temple. Let me repeat that. You are God's temple, and God dwells in you, and you are holy. Sometimes we forget that. I just want you to hold that in the back of your thoughts. Alright? Let's go to another verse. Let's go to uh, Luke chapter 7, verse 1 through 10. Luke chapter 7, verse 1 through 10. Let's get a guy who can read English. Are you a guy? 10. What's a guy? A guy who can read English. Oh, wait. 10? 10. Oh, D! 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 Chapter 7, verse 1 through 10. Oh, he got it. Oh, sit down, Andrew. Oh, chapter 7, verse 1 through 10. 